Hello. So last time we talked about comma, which is a useful little way for you to run software on your computer provided by Nix without really installing it. And uh, when I say not really installing it, hopefully this, made it, this video will make that a little more clear. We're going to talk about Nix's garbage collection and a little bit about the store and the, the graph database that that represents. So when you run something like tree, you'll see it works regardless of whether or not that software is installed. Um, now, what actually happens when you run software in Nix is, let's say, so I do have RipGrep installed, and I'll run RG help, and you'll see it works. But RipGrep, really, the path that that exists at is this link within my Nix profile. And so if I resolve that link using read link, so this is a sim link, you'll see it points to this place in the Nix store, which is this big long, oops, this big long path slash bin slash RG. Now, the Nix store is a graph database, and the, those graph edges represent all of the things on which it depends. So what that's to say, I can ask the graph database, like, what is everything that RipGrep depends on? And I can say Nix store query requisites of that. And I'll get back this very short list. So RipGrep just depends on itself, just because that's the way these things often work, and libsystem which is the macOS equivalent of, uh, say, Linux's libc. Um, so very light on dependencies. But what that means is as long as ripgrep is installed or active in some way, libsystem can't be cleaned up. It has to stay around for ripgrep to exist. Now when I run comma tree, what's really happening is something at some point in the stack is running something kind of like nix build, nix packages, a tree. And we get this thing back, which is another path in the Nix store. And if I would run Nix store query requisites or short form as QR of that, I'll see this somewhat longer list. All of these things are dependencies of tree that can't be cleaned up as long as tree is installed. But tree's not really installed, right? Uh, so what does that mean exactly? So you can see ripgrep is linked from my Nix profile. Um, the way Nix manages, um, I'm gonna back up a second. You can imagine based on like knowing the stuff that's installed and being able to find all of the dependencies out of everything, you could imagine how you might build a garbage collection strategy right here. You would here, right? You would add together all of the, the things that are installed, find all of their dependencies, add that all together into, big, into one big list, then look at everything in the Nix store and if the, the Nix store item isn't in that list of stuff you want, you just remove it. And in fact, that's exactly how Nix's garbage collection works. But there's one important piece missing before you can kind of understand that, and it's, it's pretty simple. Nix has this directory at nix var nix gc roots. And this is just, <clears throat> at the end of the day, this is like nested directories of ultimately what they are is sim links somewhere into the Nix store. So if I look at profiles slash per user slash Burke slash profile uh, say 30 link that's a sim link and if I do read link on it I'll get this next door path which means when Nix garbage collection runs it looks through this whole Nix var Nix GC roots directory finds everything in the next door link from there finds all of its uh, the whole I guess you could say the transitive closure of dependencies on it, which it gets by running something like Nix store QR of that. Let's just try that. We get this whole thing. So all of these are dependencies of my user environment. So um, the command to actually run garbage collection is just Nix collect garbage. And you'll see it'll do a whole bunch of deletion and then say, I'm done. So in this case, we mostly cleaned up some gem stuff because I've been working on some gem stuff. So when you run nixenv ia, for example, like nix packages dot, we'll say tree, it tags tree, and then it's not subject to deletion anymore because we created a new entry in nixvar nixgc roots that depends on tree. And similarly, when I do nixenv e nix packages dot tree, assuming that profile would go away, it would become eligible for deletion. So there are no real practical takeaways from this one, but it should kind of clear up how, how, uh, 
how comma works and a little bit more about how the next store works. Um, this should be a, a useful mental model for, for future learning, I hope. Um, if there's something in particular you want to hear about, uh, let me know and I can try to talk about that aspect. Um, otherwise, happy Monday.